much. Well, to go into it. You, have you done radio before? Or? So when I first started in local TV, late 90s, I, I did I did some high school games on radio. But uh, this is, my background is, is football and television. So this is, there will certainly be a, a learning curve. Yeah. What, what do you feel is like the biggest transition in television? You were yeah. able to kind of just, the, the video paints the picture itself. Exactly. Now yeah. you have to paint that picture. And is that kind of the learning curve you're talking about? Yeah, I think it's, uh, I think the biggest challenge is on, on TV, your words are enhancing what people can already see. And on radio, you have to advance that three or four levels. And you, you are creating the picture. You're not enhancing it. You're making the picture. And I, I think just the, the, the constant reminder for me, the listeners can never be deprived of time, score, down, distance, location. That has to be constant. That has to be all the time. And then once the play happens, your descriptive words, your description of what's happening has to be quicker. It has to be, I think, more consistent and more active because when you're calling a game on TV, you're watching it along with people. I'm the only one watching it in terms of the people that are listening. So I think the descriptions have to be more active and I think the reminders of the basics have to be constant. And I know that going in, um, so I can make it sound easy when we're sitting here talking, but I know it's going to be a challenge when I'm used to being in a booth for TV of constantly reminding myself this is radio and the challenge is much different. How did it come about with you getting your play-by-play? Uh, -play? Did you approach them? Did Notre Dame approach you first? Uh, what created what happened? So I've, uh, NBC throughout the years has had you know, Mountain West Conference football, we've had Ivy League football. I've been busy on Fridays and Saturdays, <laughs> leading into being busy on NFL Sundays in falls past, but we don't have a college football package outside of Notre Dame right now. We don't have Thursday Night Football anymore. So at NBC, we've got two wonderful properties. We've got Sunday Night Football and we've got Notre Dame, but we have half of the Mount Rushmore people who do what I do. We've got Al Michaels and Mike Tirico. So as it turned out, some of my, my weekends were going to be a little more open Friday and Saturday than, than I anticipated. So I would kind of had my antenna up, my agent had his antenna up for something that might work on the weekends that my bosses would support for me to do. And this came up and I just couldn't, I'm like, this would be perfect. This would be, this is the kind of job people get and hang on to forever, as long as they can. So I was excited to find out that my bosses supported the idea. And then I didn't really have expectations beyond that. Um, I was, thrilled to find out I was in the final pool of candidates and to have a chance to talk to some people in detail about it and just feel super fortunate to be here because you guys know as well as I do what, what this brand means and the kind of interest it attracts. Uh, there were a lot of really, really good people who would have done great with this job as well who didn't get to be here. So I just, I feel fortunate, one, that my boss has supported it and number two, that I'm the guy that's here because a lot of people could have done it really well.